As the sun was setting on the 20th century, a new day was dawning on a remarkable organization made up of some very special folks. Camp Good Grief, a bereavement camp developed by the team at Baptist Trinity Hospice, was born. Nearly a decade later, the camp has grown beyond anyone's expectations. As healthcare workers, volunteers, and campers gear up for the 10th annual event, Rod Starnes takes a look at the amazing history of the program and what the future holds for those helping Mid-South children and parents deal with grief. The loss of a loved one is often too much to bear. For a child, dealing with unfamiliar emotions and questions about death can be overwhelming. Since its beginning, Camp Good Grief has helped nearly 600 children deal with those new feelings. It's a concept that certainly filled a void in guiding young ones through the grieving process. About 11 years ago, we started noticing more children in our homes, in our hospice homes, who maybe their parent was dying or their grandparent who was raising them. And we had bereavement resources, but we really knew we needed something specialized for children. So we developed Camp Good Grief, and our first camp was in 1999. Welcome to Camp Good Grief, everybody. Camp Good Grief is a free grief camp for children ages 6 to 12 who had a loved one die in the past two years. From the time the first welcome banner went up, counselors realized that in helping a child deal with grief, you're dealing with a whole different rule book. Well, we know that children grieve very differently than adults. Um, they're not going to necessarily sit down in a chair and tell you how they feel and process their grief that way. The children need to show their grief, and they need to be kids. Traditional camp activities abound. Swimming, hay rides, arts and crafts. But the depth of emotion that is reached during these three days is something that can change the life of a child forever. We also have the group sessions where they're able to focus on their feelings, to talk about the death, to talk about the funeral, to talk about changes in their home since that loved one has died. One little camper who got a lot out of the first Camp Good Grief was eight-year-old Danielle Ashmore. At the time, Danielle had just lost her father, and at first, Coping with her grief while meeting a camp full of strangers was a bit scary. But Danielle settled in pretty quickly, singing songs and dancing, going for a swim, understanding her bad dreams and emotions by making a Camp Good Grief dream catcher, and ultimately pouring out her heartfelt feelings to her father in a letter, tying it to a balloon and letting it go. As that last balloon set sail, it was tough for the volunteers to know which campers they might see again. Hey everybody, this is Hi. Danielle. Do y'all remember Danielle? Hey Danielle. Hey Danielle. That's right, Danielle is returning to camp for the 10th anniversary, this time as a volunteer. I just want to help them and show them that they can go on, that everything will be okay. Today, Danielle is starting her first day of training with experienced camp volunteers. Time to relearn some of those classic camp songs, refresh some craft making skills, and learn about some memorable experiences the other volunteers have had. And by the end of the, the camp, it's just really fun to see how everybody's come together. Camp makes it easy because it provides a safe place for them to open up. You could see the difference that, that this experience made. It's just amazing the changes that they go through. And time for Danielle to share some memorable moments of her own. Yeah, I brought my t-shirt. Look, y'all, it's the first oh, annual. First annual, wow. I have one. Also have our group picture. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh look at that. Y'all wave. Everybody wave. They're going to be the most surprised about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious to all of the volunteers, Danielle's Camp Good Grief experience has been and continues to be life-changing. And she's not alone. Over the past decade, the camp experience has extended to include teen and adult grief camps. So now all three of those camps run yearly and because of those three camps, we were really um, being overwhelmed with the need in our community and we opened the first comprehensive bereavement center in our area. This open for individual grief counseling sessions, a variety of grief groups, the camps, so people don't have to wait until necessarily the camp. They can come in at any point when they need the help. All free of charge, all thanks to the willing spirit of volunteers, which can now include Danielle. 
over the years talking to her, the one thing that she's continued to say is that she wants to be a part of this um, for, for as long as she can. And now that she's old enough, she's coming back as a volunteer. And that's really remarkable. And that lets me know that this program works. And this special camper can't wait to meet the next generation of campers and impart these words of wisdom. You can grow up and still have fun and make it through. They can grow up and be strong, even if they think that the world's gonna end then, if it's not. In fact, a whole new world of friendship begins. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starnes.